Making a good trade in Monopoly Go is very easy to do. Today I'm going to show you how to do it. Understand the value of each property and the potential for development. Certain properties are more valuable due to their frequency of landing or the cost of building houses or hotels. Aim to complete color groups. Having a full color group allows you to build houses and hotels. Increasing rent significantly. Before making a trade, assess what you need to improve your position. Are you lacking a color group? Do you need cash for upcoming expenses? Consider the overall strategy of your opponents. If completing a color group would significantly hinder an opponent's chances of success, it might be worth pursuing. Consider the future development potential of the properties involved in the trade. Are there monopolies or color groups that could be developed more efficiently? Negotiate with your opponents. Be aware of the value of your properties and try to get the best deal possible. Be open to compromise, but don't be afraid to walk away from a bad deal. Take into account the financial positions of your opponents. If a player is struggling with cash, they might be willing to part with a valuable property for some immediate funds. Be cautious about allowing opponents to form monopolies. Monopolies give players significant bargaining power and potential control over a section of the board. Consider the long-term implications of your trade. Short-term gains might not be as valuable as long-term strategic advantages. Make sure you understand and follow the trading rules of Monopoly Go. Some versions of the game may have specific rules regarding trading properties or cash.